Welcome to the River Hamble Harbour Authority's Learning Zone. The River Hamble is one of the busiest leisure harbours in Europe, with over 3,000 yachts and motorboats kept afloat, and many more kept ashore. The river is vital for the economy, providing jobs and leisure activities across the local population. But it's the people who've worked here over the years that give the river its unique history and significance. My name is Raymond Sedgwick and I'm an assistant ferryman and I officially took it over in 1957. I'm now 77. For years it was um, a boat similar to an ordinary rowing boat with an inboard engine. Originally it was a rowing boat of course. One of the local chaps has traced the history of it back to about 1493 but uh, obviously it could have been longer than that. The records uh, very dodgy after that because they're all written in medieval Latin and it's very difficult to get someone to do the translation. When Mike Linsell took it over about 11 years ago, he decided that he would like to have it noticed. And so everything belonging to the ferry was painted pink. Obviously it was a colour that not many people wanted, but uh, it, it's caught on, worked very well, and known everywhere now as the Pink Ferry, so. My name's Andy Linsell, I'm the current owner and operator of the Hamble Water Taxi. We run every day of the year, obviously everything's weather permitting, whether or not we can be bothered. <laughs> we stop generally between Christmas and New Year um, through lack of trade, but every day we're, we'll be operating. I started coming down here when I was about 13 to work in the, uh, the beachside kiosk because my aunt and my uncle owned it at the time and then my uncle introduced me to the boats, the river trip and then the taxi business um, and then I worked here during my university years and in 2000 I purchased the ferry with my brother hence we had the association for most of my life. It's, it relies purely on holiday people and weekend visitors. Uh, going back a few years, we had a lot of local factories. Um, we started early in the morning and finished quite late in the evening, even during the winter, to get the people commuting backwards and forwards. At certain times a year, it can be very, very busy. I can remember when Che Bly came back from his round the world sail in 1971, and that was a very busy day. Uh, we had about half a dozen boats going full speed all the time, and uh, we took hundreds of people over that day. The old ferry landing was further downstream, next to Hamble River Sailing Club, and went straight across to the, where the shelter is on the Warsash side. That particular one was built in 1921. Prior to that, there was a wooden one, which uh, uh, the story says it got washed away in a gale of wind. So, <laughs> and it was a wooden one, so uh, it's quite possible 